The following video is supported by partners and associates of Joy Christian Ministries. chapter 5 Matthew chapter 5 we're going to begin reading here in Matthew 5 um, we're going to go with Matthew 5 38 Jesus is talking here and he said you heard that it was said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth but I tell you not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on the right cheek, turn the other to him also. If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. And whosoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from, you do not turn away. You have heard it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. For he makes his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you... Greet your brethren, only what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors do so? Therefore, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Now, i just help you on that Greek right there, on that last little verse. Uh, you know, you'll be perfect. It doesn't mean that you will be, excel in perfection in every area of your life. But the Greek word on this, Brother Trent, is... Tell us so. Tell us so. T L E I O S. It means complete conformity to God's law. And that's what God wants us to be. Complete conformity to God's law. And Jesus is telling God's law when he's explaining how to treat people. This is going being a second mile Christian. Uh, you know, we all have to uh, operate this way. Uh, this is this is the, the the this is the laws and the commands of the Lord. He says he don't say now if you'd like to and treat them this way it's up to you it's optional. These are not options here. He's laying out right. the, the the rule of God, the the, yes. the will of God for us, and to be in total conformity. That means conform not to this world, but to the word of the Lord. Amen. Be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by what the renewing of your mind. Amen. We renew our minds when we get into the Word of God and allow God to flow through our minds and to be renewed. Now, Jesus says, it, uh, He said, You've heard in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant, eye for an eye, that's what it used to be. Uh, and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, uh, not to resist evil, an evil person, but whoso, whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn to him the other also. Yeah. That means, don't get bent out of shape when somebody comes at you. Does that mean they pull a gun and shoot us? We're not supposed to do something? No, it doesn't mean. But he's talking about really uh, treating people with some, even though they treat you bad. Listen, you can't get through this life without having some people treat you bad. Amen. As neat as, as wonderful as y'all are, and as angelic as you are, and your halos are just perfect tonight, there's going to be somebody not going to like you. I don't care. Mm -hmm. In fact, I tell them that stand in line. They're not like me. There's a big old line of them. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to win a popular. I don't care if some people don't like me. What I care about is the Lord love me. And, and, and am I pleasing God? You know, my, as my daddy, my, he, he, my, I've told this several times, but I just can't get over the way my dad would, and he'd just be at home, and he'd be humming a little song, he'd be tapping his coffee cup. He, would, he didn't drink sugar or anything. I don't know why he'd do with a spoon. He'd have a spoon tapping his cup, and he'd be drinking his coffee. And my mom would be telling about some bills they had coming up, some bills to come up and do, stuff like that. 
He's over there, da da da, praise God, glory to God. She said, You know, well, the light bill's so much, the gas bill's so much. No, she's Robert, she finally tells him. When she called him Robert, look out, yeah. Because, you know, everybody called him Bob, but. Mm. Robert, she said, you, you, don't, you don't worry about anything, do you? She, she's concerned about the bills and all. You know, women are like that, it's, you know, more so, more so than men. They, they just are. Because women seek security from men. Hello? And we're supposed to provide it as best we can. He said, yeah, he's tapping his, he's tapping his cup, Tim. He's, Kim, he's just tapping along here. He said, yes, I do. I worry about one thing. Am I pleasing God or not? He's just going right <laughs> Then she says, I might have known it would be something. <laughs> Hallelujah. He was just concerned if he's pleasing God or not. Did you know that's all we really must be concerned about? Yeah. Not how people treat you. Because people are not going. Christians, we're living in the last days. We're living in the days where men shall say all men are evil against you. The Bible says falsely. And, and if as long as it's falsely, it's okay. Let them lie. Yeah. And I tell Christians, don't lie on me because the truth is bad enough, right? But anyway, they're going to lie about you. They're going to tell things and they'll make it worse than it was. And, and, and they're going to say all manner of evil against you in the last days. Jesus said this. you got to know this, dear ones. This is why we have to Work at, at being a second mile Christian all the time. It's, it's just continue to work at it and stay in the right relationship with God to maintain that, that second mile relationship because he said, they hated me, they're going to hate you too. Yes, amen. Now if they hated the perfect one, yeah. look at all of our imperfections, church, hello? Yeah. They're going to hate us big time, right? Amen. But as long as we are in the will of God and we walk in love with Christ, and, and, and we have to learn, and it's, this is where prayer comes in, and that strong relationship with God uh, is where that you, you can maintain your cause, in, in fact, with your life and dealing with people. Because let me tell you, sometimes it's relatives that do you that way. Hello? Amen. Did you know that's why Jesus couldn't do many mighty works amongst his relatives and, and kinfolk? Because they didn't really believe that he, some of them didn't even believe he was the Messiah. Mm. He was, they thought he was old Joe's son. You know, Joe, he's a carpenter boy. You know, he's just down there swinging a hammer. You know, what's he know? They didn't recognize that I am as the son of God. Listen. Turn the other cheek. If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. Just give him more than he asked for. That's what the second mile Christian does. More than we're as expected from us. Not just barely getting by or something, just go ahead and just lay it on them, you know? Man, just bless them. They don't know what to do with blessing. Bless them and curse not, the Bible says. Bless and curse not. Now, we would like sometimes to get in the flesh. You have opportunities. I have many opportunities to be in the flesh if I want to be and be aggravated at people, but I've decided not to. I've decided to practice this. Why This Bible calls for me to practice. Did you know this Bible causes me to pray? This word of God that he's teaching right here calls me to get on my face before him and say, Lord, I got people that are ugly toward me and you want me to treat them nice? They, they're talking, Lord, I will, by your grace, by your strength, I will. Mm -hmm. Am I perfect at it? No. Mm -hmm. am, am I trying to be? Yes. I am striving for perfection in this, in this and every area, not just this area. We are to strive, go toward perfection as a child of God, not just say, and, but you know what? Many Christians, I've come across this so many times through the years, and they'll say, well, God knows I'm only human. Oh, I said, well, yeah, He knows you're, you're too human for your own good. How about being a little more spiritual? And not so human. Amen. Get out of your flesh once in a while and get in the Spirit of God. Amen. Yes. Man, but you don't know how they treat me. And they've got it worse than anybody, you know. They, 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 you know, they, when they tell you about it, their deal is ten times worse than you've ever had. Lord, if you only would have been there, they, you, you'd have done the same thing. You'd probably pull a gun and shot. <laughs> if they compel you to go a mile, go with them too. Say, I'm going to go an extra mile for you. I, I love you. If they want to, now listen, listen right here. Listen right here. Listen, let me explain something on verse 42. Give to him who asks, and from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. Mm -hmm. Now you have to be cautious right here. 
You can't be a, a doormat for the world or from a so-called brother or sister in Christ. Now, a so-called brother or sister of Christ won't come to you bugging you about money all the time. They're not really a brother or sister in Christ if they do that. I tell the church, and I'm going to tell you folks here tonight, I wish more people was here to hear this, but I'll tell it again for a long probably. If anybody in this church comes to you and tells you a sad story about they want money for this or that, you bring them to me. You bring them right to me. Let's go talk to the pastor about it. And we'll get it figured out. Well, they because there's people that sometimes use people. Mm -hmm. yep, they yep. It's happened here before. Yep. You talk about being infuriated. You talk about a tendency for this pastor to get in the flesh. It's when that something like that happens. Mm -hmm. It's like I can't believe this would happen. Right. And it happened a couple of times, and very, very discouraging. Uh, this, this, this is how one of them went so sad. This was so sad. This, this was some time ago. It wasn't real long ago, but it was some time in the past. I, wanna, I want $200. I need $200 for food. Oh, yeah. and this person's telling a lie when they're saying this. I knew the person. I knew him. They've got, still had, stuff gets back to the pastor, believe it or not. They always come back to me. Uh -huh. God gets back. God's got a way of bringing it back to me. Yeah. I need $200. I need food. Well, I'm lying to you while I'm telling you that secret. Right. But now, if you loan me the money, this happened. This is what was even made it worse. Now, if you loan me the money, but don't tell nobody. If you tell anybody, you'll lose your blessing. Huh? <laughs> you talk about, you talk about, <laughs> huh? You talk about a snake? Yeah. I'll tell you what. You think that didn't cause the hair on my back to raise up? It was a gun. <laughs> I want to tell you what I wanted to go to that person and, and just boy I, that was, I, I had to control myself I had to confess Lord have mercy that people would do I mean, might have, you don't know, have to edit that I don't care what said <laughs> maybe you'll see it and repent <laughs> but can you imagine that you cannot imagine that from a Christian brother or sister But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Pray for them. Yes. I remember my mother, she had a, a boss. She worked at Cottonmouth Camp for 28 years before she retired from there. She had this boss that was so hard on her. You know, in the workplace, you know you've had bosses that are just, there's some good ones and there's some other kind. Oh, yeah. And this was another kind. And, uh, it was just, she was doing a good job, but he was on her, just on her, on her, on her, on her. And she was just getting really uptight, really uptight about it. And she said, you know, finally, she said, uh, she wasn't getting, you know, she's kind of getting in the flesh over, you know, this, this guy was bugging her at work. And she's doing a good job, but he's, can't, nothing can please the guy, you know. It's, it's, can you do this different? Can you do that? So finally she said, you know what, I just started praying really hard for him. She said, I started praying and praying and praying for him. I prayed for him for several months. This went on for a good while. She said, before it was over, after a while, he became one of her good friends. And she, the difference was, she prayed uh -huh. and didn't strike out at him. Now, she wanted to. She wanted to lay him out <laughs> in the place. But I want to tell you what. When, when we keep our attitude right and pray for that enemy... Somehow, God works on them, works on them, and, and can touch their hearts through our praying for them, and He can ch change their attitudes and their outlook towards you. Pray for our enemies. Amen. I'm not praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Yep. Oh, praise God. I got to pass on that one. Thank you, Lord. All right. Uh, turn over to Matthew chapter. 18. Glory to God. We're talking about second mile Christians here tonight. I want to be one, don't you? Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Don't worry, the world will give you plenty of opportunities to practice second mile Christianity. Because <laughs> have you noticed the world hasn't gotten any better? Amen. It sure hasn't gotten any better, has it? 
Uh, chapter 18 in uh, Matthew chapter 18, yes. We're going to look at him, begin with verse 21. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Therefore, he says uh, of heaven is like to a certain king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle accounts, one of was brought to him who owed him a thousand talents. Before I continue there, I want to go back to that a moment where that he was, Peter was just talking about uh, should I forgive him seven times. In the old covenant, there was there was times in, in the for the Jewish uh, from the hierarchy and, and the Jewish Sanhedrin and all that, there was a, there was a three time forgiveness deal. It was three times. So Peter thought he would go beyond that. He wouldn't say six. He'd say seven. So he would go beyond where they were at. You know. So but Jesus said that's not enough, son. He said seventy times seven. Or keep on forgiving people. Amen. Now and when a, he had begun to settle accounts. One who brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents, but he was not able to pay. His master commanded that he be sold with his wife and children and all that he had, that payment may be made. The servant therefore fell down before him, saying, Master, have patience with me, and I will pay you all. Then the master of the servant was moved with compassion, released him, and forgave him the debt. But the servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, who owed him a hundred denarii, and he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what you owe. Mm -hmm. So his fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you all. Uh, okay. and, and he would not, but went and threw him into prison till he should pay the debt. Now, how is he going to work to make any money in prison, right? Yeah. No. So when his fellow servant saw what he had been done, they went every very grieved, they were very grieved, came and told their master all that had been done. Then his master, after he had called him, said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Should you not also have laid had compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And his master was angry and delivered him to the tor torturers until he should pay all that was due him. So my heavenly Father also will do to you if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Now you notice right there it doesn't say sinner. It says brother. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Sometimes Christians sin against each other. Yeah. And you know that's, that's really hard right there. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the stuff I was talking about a while ago when that happens in the church. When sin happens against brothers and sisters in Christ. Because you expect it from the world. You expect sinners to, to slide and to try to cheat you and mess you over you. You expect that. But you just don't expect it from brothers and sisters in Christ, right? Amen. Amen. But, he, but he said, listen, he said, So my Heavenly Father also will do to you if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. You got to forgive him. If you don't get forgiveness, you will not be forgiven. Mm. Amen, yes. Now when he's talking about, back up in a minute, and he says a, 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 a thousand talent, or one talent actually was six thousand days work. One, one talent to that payday at that time. Now, to pay off ten thousand talents, which he's talking about owing, to pay that off, it would have taken him, somebody smarter than me figured this number up. Wasn't Trent yet, but it could have been. It could have been. It would take him 190,000 years to, to pay the debt off. Of course, he's never going to get it paid off, you know that. But talking about forgiveness and going the second mile. Be that way. Live that way. Where that you desire to do that. Uh, let me just say, um, sometimes it's easier for me that I've got a little bit older. Um, sometimes because of the 
hundreds of situations that I've been through that sometimes it gets a little bit easier. Then every once in a while when you get, uh, you get that knife between the shoulder blades, then you think, man, I forgot to put my bulletproof vest on backwards and, and wear it. And, you know, that's where, the, you know, when you, you try to trust people and they just go ahead and stab you. Anyway, I, it, some of those, we don't get, you know, Christians don't get mad, right? We get hurt. I'm so hurt. And it is hurtful to our spirit that, that when we get treated that way. I'm not saying that it's not. But listen, we've got to be the bigger Christian. We've got to be the bigger If we're going to be a, a, a second mile Christian, we've got to be the bigger Christian when these attacks come, no matter who brings them, no matter if it's a relative, husband, wife, preacher, a deacon, deaconess, anybody, whoever, wherever it comes from, to be the bigger second mile Christian, we've got to be the bigger Christian. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's a good word. We, we, we just can't throw it off and say, well, look, look how they treated me. Look how they treated Jesus. The perfect one. They crucified him. Amen. Don't Amen. cry me no tears on how they treated you. Forgiveness works. Amen. But we have, to, we have to be willing to work it, folks. Yes. We have to say yes to God. And, and we have to, and, and, and I'm talking about growing a church. You see, when the Lord comes back, he's coming back for a second day Second mile Christians. He's coming back for a church, a body of believers, without spot or wrinkle. Right? How'd you like not to make it to heaven because he's holding grudges against somebody that stabbed you in the back? Mm -hmm. Dear God, I ain't gonna let that person send me to hell. I'm gonna forgive him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Man, I'm gonna I'm just gonna be merciful to all of them and forgive them all. Just give them a yeah, praise God. You say amen. 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 We're talking about maturing in Christ. Growing and being without spot or wrinkle. You know what? The Holy Ghost, I call him sometimes, I think I'm on the Holy Ghost ironing board. Because he irons out those wrinkles in, in my, those bad places in my life. The Holy Ghost is, and he teaches us. He said that when he comes, he will testify to me. And, and when the Holy Spirit comes, he'll teach you all things that you have need of. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit teaches you. And these are simple truths but these are things we have to continue to live out. We, you know, we can't just say, well, I learned that back there 20 years ago and now I've got it. We live it out every day as a yes, child of God. Day. We have to keep on being that second mile person every day Amen. And, until the Lord comes for us. Now when he comes for you and, and you made it to heaven, you're going to be, man, I'm glad I was a second mile Christian. I made it. Glory to God. All right. We'll go to Luke chapter 6. I guess you could call this a little bit of a pastoral message here tonight. Chapter 6 in Luke. Praise the Lord. All right, we're going to start with verse 29. Again, the same, actually it's almost the same thing right here that he's talking about. To him who strikes you on the one cheek, offer the other also. And from him who takes away your coat, do not withhold your tunic either. Give everyone who asks of you and takes away your goods and do not ask him back. I used to loan out books years ago, but I quit loaning them. If people want to borrow a book off of me, I say, go ahead and take it. Because I know it's not coming back anyway. I mean, I, I used to loan them. I used to loan books. And I'd be so disappointed. I loan them to Christians. And, you know, I loan them to Christians. Yeah, you can borrow this book. I loan probably, when I, especially when I'm a first church, really, I probably loaned out easy 50 books through a couple of years or so. Loan them out. Not one of them books came back. <laughs> they, they meant to bring them back, I guess. But after a while, I just forgave them all. I didn't want them to be thumb thieves. I didn't want to make them steal them. I just forgave them and marked it off. So, any more people wants to borrow a book, I just say, here, take it. I know it ain't coming back anyway. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ever been here with that? I'll tell you what. Speaking of that, I do have some books sometimes. I want you to come and get some books, Trent. I'm going to give you some books, brother. I got books on Greek and Hebrew. And just mess you up. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. Isn't God good? 
Amen. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. Hello? Yes. 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 I remember as a, as a kid in school, growing up, we used to have, they don't have it anymore. But in a, remember the old blackboards we'd have in school? We'd be there, some of you remember. Mm -hmm. We'd be on our little old desk, you know, we'd have them blackboards there. And, and up above the blackboard, when I was a kid, about second grade on up to the sixth grade, you used to see it had these sayings over the top of the blackboard. And, and one of them was, do unto others as you would have them do to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I'm old then. <laughs> I probably haven't been here for a long time. I'm so old, all the schools that I went to are tore down. That's how old I am. But did you know that's the way that we're supposed to treat people, the way we want to be treated? Amen. It's not hard. It's just simple Christianity. It's just love, right? It's just loving your neighbor as you know yourself. Like Jesus said, love your neighbor. Glory to God. But if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. Sinners love the people that love them. This is the difference between us and sinners. We love the people that don't love us. Yes, and we, now, the only way you can love them, you've got, to, you've got to do, because my mother was having struggles with that boss I was saying about earlier, the only way she began to, to really like that guy at all was she had to start praying for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. You start praying for somebody, I don't care how bad they treat you, and you can't help but care for them. After a while, you're, you'll care for them. The love of God that's in you. If you pray an earnest prayer for that person, right. you're going to start caring for that person. Because you, you don't want them to be lost. You want good things to happen to them. Uh, you know, you're not praying any more rocks in their bed or nothing like that, you know, or, or the hornets after them or anything like that. You're praying, now you're praying sweet prayers, right? And because you got your heart right now, you said, forgive me, Lord, the way I was acting towards them. Sometimes as Christians, we have to ask forgiveness before we can pray for them people. Yes, amen. Because we've already acted ugly in our heart towards them. Hello? Amen. 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 Well, not me, Pastor. I'm just so, well, don't give me that story. And if you do good to those, verse 33, who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive back, what credit is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners and receive much back. But love your enemies, do good to, and lend hoping for nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the unthankful and evil. Woo! Mm. Did you know we start acting? This is godlike. Right. Yes. This is godlike. Mm. When you start operating this way, it's godlike. Mm. I'm going to get to some place here in a moment with this. Come on. He says, even he is kind to the unthankful and evil. God is. That's where we're, we're to operate, church. Amen. Glory to God. Therefore, be merciful, just as your Father is also merciful. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgiven, and you shall be forgiven. Given, it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shake together, running over. Ah, mm. uh, will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. I'm just, I'm just going. There's not very many of us here tonight. You might, I don't know if you want to edit this. You can or not. I don't matter. But I was just thinking how good God has been to us, church. I want to just tell you this tonight. My wife knows this. And not, I don't think anybody else knows it. But remember before we, and I told you how God provided the, the, the money that we needed to start the, the tent meeting. We need $4,000. Yeah. And you know, at the last day, we got we had the $4,008, I think. So we had it in the bank. That's what we needed to get everything paid for and everything done. We paid out hundreds of dollars during that time. In fact, thousands of dollars we paid out during that time for preachers and things and yeah. whatever we needed. But I'll tell you how good God is. As we were faithful to do good by all the preachers. Listen, we pay preachers good. When they come and preach for us, we try to do our best for them. And when, at the end of the meeting, we had a little more money than what we started the meeting with. Mm. God. After paying all that out, oh, how good God is. Amen. Wasn't that good? Yeah. I'm telling you, where God guides, He provides. Yes, come on. I believe it. I believe it. That's good. And I want to share that with you so that you can realize the goodness of the Lord for our church. You see? Amen. 
Hallelujah. And he spoke a parable to them, can the blind lead the blind? Will they not both fall into the ditch? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone who is perfectly trained, here we go, will be like his teacher. Mm -hmm. Be like his teacher. Jesus is training us, and we are to be like him. Yeah. Amen. Remember, Jesus said, greater things than these you shall do. Yes. Yes. We're going to do like him. He said, you'll do these things, and even greater things. That's right. Because Amen. he's training us, and, and we're to be like our teacher. A loving teacher, yes. a giving teacher, a forgiving teacher, yes. a, a, a wise teacher, Amen. A, a, a loving, kind teacher is training us as children of the Most High God. And, and we're going to be like Him. I love it. I love it. I love it. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Hallelujah. We're to have His true nature. But the true nature of a child of God comes out only when we're tested. If there's no test, you're not going to know if you qualify or not. Mm -hmm. So you'll be tested as a child of God. Listen, hear this message tonight that I'm preaching tonight will probably bring tests in your life this, this probably this week. I hope it's not on the way home, but it could. But you'll be tested by just what you heard here. Because God wants to help you. You see, those tests that we have are not to cause us to fail, but to elevate us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. To be more mature. To be more trained. Yes. To be more like Jesus. Amen. That's what He wants out of us. More like Him. Amen. More like Him. Amen. More like Him. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Good, Ooh. Good, Ta -ta. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. In Luke uh, 17. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Isn't God good, church? Amen. Luke 17. Amen. Then he said to his disciples, It is impossible that no offense should come, but woe to him through whom they do come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and were he were thrown into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. Talk about children of God, Christians. Take heed to yourselves or pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. And if he repents, what? Forgive, Forgive him. him. And if he sins against you seven times, there it is again, in a day, and seven times in a day returns to you, saying, I repent. You shall forgive him. Yeah. Did you know he's talking about the very same act or the very same sin? It could be the very same sin. He called you a dirty name. You forgave him. He called you the same dirty name later that day, this or she. The she's can say dirty words too, you know. They, whoever it might be. They said the same thing. It's, it's talking about the same sin. It could be the same sin. Somebody says, well, they ought to quit it. Well, yeah. But we're, we're to be forgiven regardless of whether they quit or keep it going. Right. It's up to us to be the forgiver. We're to forgive him. And the apostles said to the Lord, about this time they're saying, Lord, we're in trouble. Increase our faith. Mm. We're struggling with this part. Mm. <laughs> we're struggling. With, we're, they struggled with this stuff. You see, they were just like us. They struggled with forgiveness and, and, and inner changes back and forth and up and down situations. They said, Lord, just increase our faith so we can operate like right. you. So the Lord said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the seed. And it would obey. It would mm -hmm. obey. You know, a mulberry tree is known for its deep, strong roots. Mm -hmm. Very strong. They're stubborn. We, we had a bunch of them out in the back of the church cut down here a while back. And they were stubborn. In fact, one of them is still hanging on a, on, on a cable lighter part of it. <laughs> Help our, increase our faith, Lord, where we'll operate like you, where we'll live like you, talk like you, walk like you, be obedient to our Heavenly Father like you, Jesus. We want to imitate you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
Somebody said, well, who do you think you are that you could imitate Christ? Well, we're, we're, to, we're to do that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to bring you some scripture here. Let's see where we're going here. Oh, yeah. Turn with me to Ephesians chapter 5. Mm. Amen. Grace and division. Chapter 5. Therefore, chapter 5, verse 1 here. Mm -hmm. Be imitators of God as dear children. Be what? Imitators. Yeah. How many of those that's acting like, being like God? Amen. Be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also has, walked, has loved us and given himself for us and offering and a sacrifice to God for sweet smelling aroma. It pleased God when Jesus went to the cross, gave himself for us, a sweet smelling aroma to God, it was pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he says, look at this, dear ones, you see this? Here's another one of those commands, this is not an option, he's commanding us to be imitators, yeah. imitators of God, as dear children. Now, do you know what? Oh, Brother Kim back there, he looks a lot like Brother Basil, he's looking. And Basil was his daddy. Mm -hmm. As Kim walked along, before it hurt his leg for sure, but walked like his dad. We imitate our parents. Mm -hmm. and that's what he's talking about here. I imitate God as a child with his parent. Imitate all, all the good qualities of God. Imitate everything about God that's good. And be God-like. Imitate him. Just follow him. Practice his practices. Do what he does. Live the way he lives. Walk the way he walks. Talk the way he talks. Be a, a, a spiritual minded person like he is. Obey the word of the Lord. Walk in love. Walk in peace. Walk in the joy and the power of the Lord. Just be a second mile Christian. Amen. It's so good when you're walking in that, you know. Amen. I wish I was walking in total perfection in that. But we can get there. We can get better. How many of those are room for improvement? Oh, yeah. we, we just want to improve. We want to, we want to get closer to God. We want to walk more like our Heavenly Father. We want to live like Jesus. We want to walk like, talk like Jesus every day. Amen. Imitate God as your children. His acts, imitate the way He acted. His words, the words that He spoke. His nature, his nature, his ways, his graces, and his spirit. Yeah. Oh, Amen. copy all the qualities of God. Whew. Oh, it's wonderful. It's just so good. I, you know, when I when I'm bringing this to you, folks, I'm getting a spiritual elevation in my spirit right now because I just know that this is so what God wants us to do. Amen. It's like you're bringing it to the folks tonight and. They're getting it, and, and, and they're going to they're gonna be some changes made in our attitudes and our outlooks and, and our nature and our walk with God, and, and we're going to walk closer, and we're going to walk circumspectly, we're going to walk clean, we're going to walk holy before the Lord. Right. <sighs> yes, Shakurama, yeah. yeah. Holy God. Glory to God. That's good. My Lord Jesus. Glory. Mm. His acts, every way that he acted, everywhere that Jesus went, what was he doing, the Bible said? He was doing good. Every place he went, he was doing good. Yeah. That, that's what y'all got to do. Just every place you go, do good. Amen. Just do good. Yeah. You don't have to say, I, I've arrived and this is the big show over here. <laughs> no. How many, how, how many knows, how many knows that's, that's pride going in there, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, not much happened until I got here, but I, when I took over it all, it just went, like, yeah, I probably went to pot. Then. Literally, maybe. Anyway. <laughs> I see some of you been there. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen. Isn't Jesus good? Amen. I I just can't help but talk about the nature of God, and it's just overwhelming to me. Mm. It's like it's just like a Trent brother. It's just like. Whew. Amen. It's like dazzling my spirit now. Just like no, come on, man! I can't get enough of that stuff. Man, it's the it's the anointing. It's, it's so righteous. Yeah. It's so true. It's so lovely. It's so wonderful. Yes, Amen. My Lord Jesus, 
I'm about to get raptured out of here, folks. I don't know what you're getting, but I'm getting <laughs> something good. Glory to God. Amen. <sighs> Imitate God as your children. His acts, his words, the words, words of love, words of kindness, words of gentleness, words of peace. Blessed are the peacemakers. Well, they're going to see God. Amen. He didn't say blessed are the troublemakers. There's plenty of those around. <laughs> but when we imitate God, we're going to start living a holy life. The Word of God says, without holiness, no person, no man or woman, shall see the Lord. Right. He said, be you holy, for I am holy, yeah. saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. I, I want to be holy, don't you? Amen. Yeah. I want to be pleasing to God. Amen. I want all this in me. I like the thing I talked about tonight. I want to be like Jesus. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, glory, glory to God. I'm way below where I want to be. But if I get where I want to be, look out now. I'll just see you later. <laughs> I'll see you in heaven probably because there's going to be all, all over the shouting. His graces, all His graces, the way He operates. All the gifts of the Spirit, the way He operates in the gifts, and His Spirit, having the Spirit of God flowing through us. Be imitators of God, church. Will you say amen? Amen. 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 Come on, the keyboard, dear. We're going to sing this. We're going to close here. I, I could just go on this. I'm telling you why this is so good. I've been drinking with the fountain tonight. Huh? Glory to God. Amen. Remember the chorus, and we're going to sing it. I know some of you know it. I've got the life of God in me. I've got His Spirit, His nature, and His ability. That's, that's just what I was talking about. I've got the life of God in me. I've got the life of God in me. I've got His Spirit, His nature, and His ability. I've got the life of God in me. Come on now. I've got the life of God in me. I've got the life of God in me. I've got His Spirit, His nature, and His ability. I've got the life of God in me. I've got the life of God in me. I've got the life of God in me. I've got His Spirit, His nature, and His ability. I've got the life of God in me. I've got the life of God in me. I've got the life of God in me. I've got His Spirit, His nature, and His ability. I've got the life of God. Come on now, let's sing. I've got the life of God in me. I've got the life of God in me. I've got His Spirit, His nature, and His ability. I've got the life of God. That means we can act and be like Jesus. Amen. I've got the life of God in me. Get this. I've got the life of God in me. I've got His Spirit, His nature, and His ability. I've got the life of God in me. You know the world would say we're the world would say we're off a rocker. You know, you mean you, you can be like Jesus? You, know, you must be cracking up. But the Word of God declares, "I can do all things through Christ." Amen. Which strengthens me. We can get to our church. Yeah. We, we can be that second mile person. We can be pleasing to God. We can be without spot or wrinkle. But when He comes, there ain't gonna be a question. When He comes, we're gonna go. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Don't you want to go? Why, oh. why shouldn't we be like God? Oh, huh? We are created in yeah. His image, just like Him. He is our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. So we should have His attributes. Yeah. Just like you have inherited things from your Father, Preach it, your Holy Father, your yeah. Heavenly Father, we ought to have them attributes right inside. Amen. Oh, yeah. That's good. Amen. Yeah. Isn't God good? Yeah. I hope you receive something from the Lord tonight. i tell you the truth. I don't see how you could help but receive something tonight because the Holy Ghost was ministering this word. I know it was coming through me. I hope it was conveyed to you Amen. in a way that you was receiving something from the Lord. Good. Let's stand together tonight. Thank you for being here, everyone.
thank you for your music, everybody. We appreciate you. Yeah. And Karen, the next time you come, if you don't bring one of those little round things, okay? We want you to. We want you to. We like. We like your voice, girl, and we love to hear you sing. Uh, Kim, thanks for playing tonight. Yeah. I want to commend Brother Rick, by the way, before we leave here. This this morning for getting here to church, the guy had. They was doing inventory, I guess, over there at the store. He went in something like four o'clock in the morning so he could get him here at church at ten o'clock. Yeah. And, and God, give God. the Lord and him a hand for that. Amen. Amen. Right? Listen, I, as a pastor, you appreciate stuff like that. Yeah, that's, and, that's and commitment. That is. Why don't you dismiss us in prayer, baby? Oh, Heavenly Father. Right here. Okay. Oh, I don't want that thing. Jesus, hear Jesus, me Lord, now. Please. <laughs> hear me now, Lord. Oh, Father, we just thank you for your presence. Lord Jesus, this message that came tonight, Father, just set a fire on the inside of us. Yep. Help us to be just like you, Jesus. Yep. Well, we want to be on. just little Jesus walking around All here right. doing, All doing right. the, the body's work. You're the head, we're the body, and we're out here to do what you told us to do. Yep. Lord, we just pray that this church will get on fire. Yep. Everyone inside yeah, of them won't on. be able to sit still. They'll have to get out and do your work. Lord, Lord, Lord we God. pray for it. We pray for, oh, we pray for the United States of America. Yes, Lord. we do, Lord. We lift them up to you, Father. All this hate and stuff yes, that's going Lord. on. Just, oh, Father, put a, a stop to it. Yes. Do something, Lord. Do something. Speak to those people. In the name of Jesus, speak to them, those people that are providing the money for all those people to go out there and burn down businesses and hurt people. Lord, Dry up the money so they'll all go home. All right. Lord, we pray for Israel. Keep them safe. Yes, Lord Jesus. And they're all shut down now because Help of this Lord. virus. Yes, Help Lord. Them, Father. We pray for each one here as they go about this week. Let them just feel your presence. Oh, yes, Lord. Let them daily yes, renew yes, their yes, mind yes, to yes. you and then walk in the peace of your love. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, Jesus the church name. says, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching this video that was brought to you by Joy Christian Ministries. If you're ever in the area, come experience God with us. Our service times are Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., Sunday evenings at 7 p.m., and Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. And our address can be found at the bottom of this screen. Thank you for your support. We love you. God bless you.